Good afternoon, guys. Well, for us, it's morning, just barely morning. Uh, headed into the Great Smoky Mountains for our trip to Tremont. So we're gonna go check out Tremont and see what it has to offer. I've never been here before, so this is something new for me. So looking forward to checking it out. Beautiful falls. Cascades, I should say. Some really beautiful, like, rivers and cascades back there, dear. Alright guys, we're out in the middle of nowhere here in Tremont. So just so you know, um, just where we're at, uh, we went about two miles. Um, there's like the actual institute there. And then you get to a gravel road and you take the gravel road about three miles um, back to this kind of like turnabout area. So you can kind of see where there's like a turnabout area. And uh, that's where the trailhead starts, okay? Uh, here we go. Let's do this. All right, guys. So we came up upon footbridge right when you come from the parking lot. And this is where the beauty begins, guys. Look at that. Alright guys, so you come right over the bridge and then there's a sign here and then you can go this way, which is the right or left side. You want to take the left trail to the middle prong trail and then that follows that side all the way down. Supposedly this is a rail, what is this? Rail? Old ra railway. So we're going we're gonna to check this out. All right, from the trail, you can hear the beautiful water, but you just follow the water all the way around and this path is huge. That's because it's an old logging trail, so pretty cool. This rock is just out here in the middle of nowhere. The best part about this is the sounds. Just hearing the, the river. The hike is so far pretty easy. A little rocky. Make sure you have like some hiking boots on or maybe a little uh, tennis shoes or something at least. You wanna be flip flopping around in here. A little bit of a running water here coming down the rocks. What is that? Is that a bear sheep? Maybe. And that's where that water's coming from. All right, guys. So according to the research that we did, we have to take about uh, take this trail about 0. 0.4 uh, miles to a little bench, and we have just arrived at that there bench. All right. So this is the bench that they're referring to. 
and there it is guys there's that cascade it's beautiful All right, now it's telling us to go to the next next bench, um, which there should be a middle of that cascade, which then you can see some falls. So we're headed that direction now. Fall sure is moving there. I love it around. Yeah. Beautiful though. Very beautiful. All right, so these are the Cascades. We're heading to the Lynn Camp Prong Falls is what we're trying to get to here. So yeah, I can feel the cool from the falls, from that water. Boy, that feels good. And <laughs> it's hot today, guys. It's hot, 95-ish degrees total. I'm gonna try to see if I can Come off the edge over here. I can't really see much over there, guys. Guys, you won't believe like the the cool air that that falls bring. Like, legit feels like somebody turns on the air conditioning outdoors feels good especially on a hot day today like today oh what an amazing sight guys just uh i'm sure this video doesn't do it justice but it is amazing this is look at this rock formation there's the trail and then this water just follows it all the way through all right guys we made it we made it up to then camp prong falls. Beautiful sight. Alright guys. Good stuff. Beautiful. Mm. Doesn't get any better than this guys. Not a long hike at all, guys. Not not bad at all. Incline was very minimal. It's a very easy hike, and I'm a, I, and I and I'm not an in shape guy. So if that tells you anything, if I could do it, you definitely can do it for sure. So all right. So if you're out here this way. It's definitely worth it to go to Tremont and check out these falls. bit of a close-up here for you guys climbed out in the ledge I could go a lot closer but I don't think I'll do it sit back and enjoy all right guys Here's some more I 
on this big rock right here. All right, they crawled out on this rock a little bit. Got, got flies attacking me here. Guys, there's these little butterflies that are gorgeous. They're like a light purple. They're all over throughout the falls. You can see them buzzing around on the camera too in front of us. Beautiful. guys so that's the falls cascades there is one uh, upper cascade that we decided not to go to but we have too many things going on today <laughs> just don't have the time to hike the extra quarter of a mile uh, it's a half mile quarter mile something like that okay. quarter so we're gonna head back and uh, finish this uh, finish this trip. All right, guys. So that does it uh, for our adventure. Our quick little uh, hike to the falls. Is it uh, Lynn Camp Prong Falls? And as you can tell, I got a little sweat today. Even though it's uh, about 11 o'clock, it's hot. <laughs> It's very humid, hot, but we had a great time. What beautiful views of the Cascades and, and the falls. Um, well worth it. Very easy uh, little hike. Um, you gotta be careful though. You can get yourself a twisted ankle if you don't pay attention on some of these rocks on this trail. But overall the trail is just an easy elevation. Not very much at all. Uh, definitely not <laughs> any of the major ones. Uh, like some of the major hikes in the Smokies. So something very manageable to do. So, all right. Well, anyways, thanks so much for, for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel. Doug Wanders, the Midwest. You can find me on Twitter as well. Love to connect with you guys. Uh, anybody watching, uh, follow along. Um, hit that little bell button and uh, alert you to all of it, our videos that are upcoming. We have a lot more coming in the Smokies, plus much more beyond that uh, when we head back to the Mitten. So follow along with us as we wander the Midwest. Good afternoon, everybody.